with uh, what you say. Um, we are a large corporation, and sometimes we are fluid in what we do. Okay, and as we head towards 2021 in this thinking, that's something that we actually need to put in place so that we are, we all know and we're comfortable with what we're doing all the time. And we do have our set targets that we need to meet so that whatever programs we have, whatever we are putting in place, then we stick to that and we work towards that. So that's something that we need to do. With regards to doping, I'd like to think that, uh, I think our focus has been more on all the representative players. So we're thinking more about national teamers, whether it's the women, the men, or the 15s. And I suspect from what you're saying, the time has now come to to devolve it, if that's the word, lower down to the clubs and bring them into the mainstream as well. So that, like you suggest, maybe link the clubs, give them the links with the anti-doping agencies that we have locally or internationally, so that we, we all are on the same page. And that's something we need to work towards as well. Um, to ensure that, you know, we're following the same, we're, we're all marching to the same beat all the time. There was something that you said, I forgot to talk about that earlier, about um, talent, talent development centers. I don't know, I can't remember exactly what you called them. Uh, sorry? Incubation centers. We actually have some talent development centers and over the last two years we've done that but we do it with a select, select number of kids and maybe we need to expand that. Because what happened uh, last year I think it was in some school in Nyanza and they took girls from, I think last year they had to Nyanza, I can't remember where else. Uh, you Forgive me, my memory is a bit foggy on that. Uh, but I know the year before we had four. There was one in the coast, one in central, one in Nairobi, and I think one in Nakuru or Sharon Nyanza. And they take kids from different schools and they uh, go to those camps for about a week. But I, I take your point. Yes, that's something that we need to do so that we actually grow the talent of the youngsters from age grade up to probably high school age. Put them in a camp so they can learn some of the attributes of what it means to be a national team player or how we can upskill them um, to become better players, better people as well. Remember, much as we're talking about rugby, we're also talking about people. So we've got to look at the whole person as opposed to just, just the skill in itself. With regards to coaches and, and, and referees and match officials, like I said earlier, those come from within us. But it is true, yes, maybe we, need to set, we do need to set that target and say within the next year we're looking to increase the number of referees at this level by 20%, um, at level 2 by 10%, at level 3 by what percent, so that we're all working towards a certain goal and then I suspect in the year 2019 we can come back here again, look at this very plan and, and, and critique ourselves, have we achieved anything, is there anything that we need to change going forward or are we on the right track? Or maybe just introduce a whole new plan because we've achieved everything else that we have set out to do. So yes, we appreciate these these, these concerns that you're raising, um, and we'll see how best we can incorporate them into into the into the document. I'd like at this moment to introduce. He doesn't have to say anything, but because he's sitting here next to me, right? Uh, our vice chairman Thomas Opio. Um, who, who came in a bit late. But if you have anything else you want to say, gentlemen, um, I'm sort of hoping we can be done in like the next 15 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry. <laughs> if anybody has any, any other remarks, any comments they want to make on this document. So I'd just like to wind up by talking a bit about the SWOT analysis which we have on the second page, which we did. You can, and I hope I'm not opening a can of worms, because if we are, I'll just shut it right there. <laughs> right? Okay, so I'll shut it right there. 